con Lorenzo Ramachiotti, que es el director de diseño del grupo Fiat Chrysler, quien nos habló eh, del nuevo Alfa Romeo Spider. Y esta es una entrevista en la cual hicimos en grupo con una, un grupo de colegas de Australia. Así que escuchemos aquí los conceptos de Lorenzo Ramachiotti, el jefe de diseño del grupo Chrysler, sobre el nuevo Alfa Romeo Spider 2016, el segundo modelo de la, del fabricante italiano en su regreso aquí al mercado de Estados Unidos. So how many differences are there in the finished version to the prototype? Of which the, oh, the, of the spider, spider. Uh, the, the spider doesn't have many differences because in fact what we, we were showing uh, was already production intent. There were some differences in the arrangement of the of the front of the car because there was no provision for uh, uh, soft top or hard top attachment and uh, also in the interior appointment there were some differences but um, it was already uh, very close to the production car. The, um, the, the carbon carbon body itself is that very different from the coupe or was it already stiff enough? To no the, the carbon the carbon fiber part of the structure is exactly the same because uh, In fact, the uh, the structure of this kind of vehicle um, with the with the with the carbon fiber uh, uh, structure is self-supporting. The all the all the panels are just um, hanging on. They don't they don't make a contribution to the structure, and uh, and so it's, it's not been a major problem. The, the opening of the structure without the movement. It doesn't participate that much. Uh, there have been some additional uh, layer. Um, you know that the, the carbon fiber is uh, hand, hand um, uh, laid. So it, it is also laid uh, uh, following the, the tension direction. Into the, so there have been some additional layers in some areas just to work with the, but it's uh, if you look from the outside you don't see the difference. And that, does that include the, the windscreen? Is it this that carbon fiber windscreen is obviously yeah. a, a, quite an integral support if anything goes is that the same as the coupe? The windshield is the same uh, the structure around it is not the same uh, this is stiffer because um, it, it's not a problem of um, Uh, of rollover because the structure for the rollover is more in the roll bar. Um, it's more for the um, uh, for the windshield shake um, in, in the driving. All the all the open cars um, have the problem of uh, keeping together uh, the, the, the the windshield when when the car is shaking. In this case, the car is very rigid and uh, doesn't have that much problem, but uh, of course you have to make it stiff. So truthfully, a lot of this is similar to the coupe and it's mm -hmm. just having that little target roof in the middle. Yes. How, how long have you had the, uh, even the, the, if the prototype version was almost the finished version, was, it, was this one waiting in the wings right from the very start? Well, we had the idea to do it, uh, but of course, uh, not not to introduce them at the same time. The idea was almost natural. All this kind of vehicle have an open version from the Ferrari uh, 348, 348 uh, 355 and so on. So it's almost natural to do that. Uh, the Lotus Elise came straight as a convertible, so it's, um, uh, it's normal that in the overall project there are the two versions. And uh, of course, uh, that you also launch them in time, in a staggered way, in order to uh, keep the product running. Yeah. But it's, uh, I would say it's uh, it's uh, it's normal to try to foresee from the beginning all the version you want to derive from the same product. How much does the materials? And I, and I guess every car, but in this car in particular, how much does the materials affect the design of it? Or to put it another way, could you have built this car if you didn't have access to all those carbon fiber materials? And well, well the, car, the, 
let's put it like this. Um, the, the structure is something um, you, you don't see that much in the design, unless uh, you have the need for a uh, special section to, to go with, but this is not the case. Uh, you could have done it also in, um, uh, in aluminum, like the Elise. Uh, maybe you would have had uh, a slightly higher uh, seal on the side, because, uh, of course, the, the section of the structure for uh, an aluminum uh, construction would have been bigger than, than the fiberglass. Um, where the, um, uh, the, I would say, uh, plastic material has, has helped is in making complex shapes uh, around the car. Now, the bumpers are complex and you would have made them in plastic any, any way. But for instance, the rear fender is a very complex shape with the air intake and all the cut line of the door. Doing that in, in sheet metal would have been much more complex. Or would it even be possible? Um, it it would be it would have been more complex and not impossible. Yeah, right. There's nothing impossible. <laughs> There's always With time and technology. You can always you know, find a solution. Expensive. It's yeah. only expensive. Yes. <laughs> time and money, nothing is impossible, yes. right? What about inside this one? Is this one more um, a bit more user friendly? I mean, the, the the coupe, which is beautiful, but not always easy to get in and out of, and not. Well, if you have problem in getting in and out, I suggest you to buy this one because you could <laughs> enter much better from the top, of course, without the roof. <laughs> <laughs> the roof. Dukes of Hazard style, straight in over the back window. I tell you, when I um, when, when I uh, use I use for a while uh, the Elise. The first time I get in, I had someone to to pull me out. <laughs> I was not able to get out. And, um, and when we did this car, we had as a target to be bet much better than the Elise, and the car is much better than the Elise in getting in and out. But for sure, the, the open version is much better than the closed one, unless you put off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> of, of all the, the design of both the Spider and the Coupe, is there one particular part of it that you is your favorite or that you're most proud of the styling of? Well, I, I like the car as a whole because it works all together very well. It's um, uh, it's not easy to make a car with a lot of um, sculpturing in such a small size. Um, the car is as, as long as more or less as the old 33. And uh, today we are used to much bigger cars. And, uh, uh, and so it's um, it's um, a matter of um, uh, it's very natural. It's um, it, we didn't need to make any uh, I would say trick to make the car look uh, nice. So everything came came out very easily all together. In fact, the car was born as a unit. There was no second uh, thinking on the on. on on the details. Yeah. So I like the car as a whole for its proportion because uh, it works all together. Is this yellow that the spider is? Is that mm. like a hero color for that car? Because of course the, the red is the classic one that we're more used to. We have we have, we have added we have added the yellow because we wanted um, a strong color to introduce the car. And to make it visible as a, as a self-standing proposal for the 4C, and um, I think this is a car that doesn't want to get unnoticed uh, on the road, and so uh, we wanted a very strong color that um, remarks the presence of the vehicle. The vehicle, and uh, the, the red we already use it for for the coupe, and so we selected the yellow for. For the spider, and uh, yellow has been for a long time a favorite color of small sports car. I mentioned the, the Ferrari Dino. I mentioned the Lancia Stratos, and why not uh, the Forza Spider? What of the uh, the 
best things about having an open car is the sound. Is the exhaust or anything modified on this for... But the, the, this is a special um, exhaust that will be available um, with the Spider, and uh, it's um, it's an Akrapovic uh, exhaust. It's a manufacturer of uh, sports equipment with this uh, dual exhaust in the middle, and uh, so the the customer will have the choice between three exhausts: the standard, the sports, and this uh, Akrapovic. And uh, it's up to you to select. I think. Uh, we are trying to make the car uh, with many options that the, the customer can select to make its own car really exactly as he, as he likes. And uh, the exhaust is one of the of the items that he can uh, can personalize. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.